this camera? Where you're standing right now, you want to switch? I think that is what democracy looks like. I think it's uh, very hopeful if people care this much to camp out and try to bring attention to a number of issues. And I'm hoping that uh, eventually they'll have to pay more attention in the media and it will spread all over because I know there's a lot of people who are rightfully upset about the inequality economically and uh, all of the world development not just in the United States but all over. What change would you like to see? What change would I like to see? I guess I'd start with campaign finance reform so that uh, either that or every time someone runs for office you could just publish a list of all of the contributors to their campaign and then you'd have a better idea of how they vote. I mean, I don't know that much about Wall Street, but if I was running a business and I made that big of a mistake and lost that many people's future, I don't think I would get a bonus or even keep my job. So something's wrong. Um, how to fix it, I'm not sure, but I, I think it's, I mean, I didn't personally lose money, but if I had lost money from mismanagement and greed and everything else that has gone on, I would have been furious to find out that those people got bonuses, let alone kept their jobs. So uh, I don't know how they got away with that, so I don't know how to fix that, but I can understand people's frustration. It doesn't seem fair or just, and um, I, I think the only way it's going to change is if people do make a fuss. Well, I was a Madison, from Wisconsin, and the middle class definitely stepped up. The teachers were there, these four teachers that have been so unjustly maligned, um, nurses, firefighters, farmers, kids with babies. It was so cold, and they were out, and they were camping out for weeks and weeks and weeks, and everyone, even the people whose pensions were not on the line, and we're there for each other, and that is the middle class. So I think the middle class can step up and has been known to step up. And I wish the media would um, would have given them more coverage because it was very moving and significant what was going on in Wisconsin. On some level, I've used have kind of always been in revolt. But do you feel like this time around, there's something different about the future that the youth are facing? I think the internet if you guys can figure out how to use it effectively, is makes things very different. Um, years ago, there had to be a centralized order, but being able to disseminate information, being able to, to do what you can with your phones, and being able to organize that way, it's no longer necessary, and it's no longer as expensive. And so um, I think that's what's going to make the difference. I'm a Luddite myself, and but not even find half of this stuff unless somebody led me to it. But I, I, I think you have to hope that the, the transparency that's necessary, the communication that's necessary, the um, exchange of ideas that will make the difference will have to do with being online, will be the internet. Oops, sorry. I mean, WikiLeaks, look at what's happened with that. That's amazing. You know, that kind of information and... and uh, the right to know, I think is really, really important. What do you think is the most positive thing coming out of what's happening on Wall Street? Well, I would say that, you know, everybody here is reinvested in their country. And if they can reinvest people to pay attention and to believe that they can make a difference, it's understandable right now where there's an enormous amount of cynicism. Um, we were promised transformation and nothing has really transformed and I don't think there's ever been power that's given up power unless it's been wrenched from them. So um, the idea of change starting at the top, I, I've always found my hope in the people at the bottom making change, not from the top down. I mean, I, I encourage everyone to participate in the political process because that's also part of what America is, but this is also what America is, what democracy is. And, um, you know, we can't let our Arab brothers and sisters get way ahead of us in terms of how they're changing things, you know. I don't think, hopefully, the, the toolkit exists here for a nonviolent change, I would hope, at this point. Um, 
but I think it's incredibly um, moving uh, to find people that are willing to do this and hopefully can make their uh, mission clear enough and their outreach uh, clear enough to involve those people that aren't here that were in Wisconsin because I think you need them a lot here in, in the same kind of mindset. It's interesting, we're getting some cynicism from other people who are part of the same economic uh, group as us. The other people that are a part of the 99% too, and they're critical of us too, you know, but they're, they're not coming down here. It's kind you of have to make your message clear. You have to make your plan doable. And um, now that you're getting to a tipping point and you've got more people paying attention, I think you have to put your heads together and really make it clear that you're focused so you can't be dismissed, you know. Can you just give us a, a positive, like, encouragement? I'm so encouraging. Come on. I'm uh, here. More, more. more encouraging. I mean, just, yeah, one little... No, hang in. You know, it's important to hang in. And uh, I, you're doing great, and you're starting to get press, and that's the beginning. And it's, uh, it's really important what you're doing. And it's important for, you know, somebody once said to me, you can't look back on political change as just a goals that you accomplish. You have to be involved in the process because you're making your life an art form and that's what you're doing. This is your life that you're doing. And so you guys are already one because you put your bodies where your beliefs are and you know it's a peaceful, beautiful place that you've made here and that's already uh, a success. So keep that up and see if you can involve other people.